Hey, what's going on guys? Kevin back with another video here. So today I'll be reviewing the Aux Power Bar by Iron Host Fitness. So let's get on with the review. So today I'll be reviewing the Aux Power Bar by Iron House Fitness. Today I have the stainless steel and the zinc coated Aux Power Bar. So first I want to start off with the differences between the stainless steel and the black zinc. As the stainless steel name kind of implies, it is made of stainless steel and that is it. That is absolutely it. As for the zinc coated bar, it is not made of stainless steel and it has a zinc coating on the bar. So there's two main differences between the stainless steel and the black zinc. One is the price difference. So the stainless steel will cost a bit more than the black zinc counterpart. The reasoning is stainless steel is just a more expensive metal than a non-stainless steel bar. But the advantage of a stainless steel bar is that there's no coating on it. In the black zinc, it's obviously there's coating on the bar. So now if you think about it, so once you add a layer of zinc coating onto the barbell, that black zinc coating is covering the knurling. Basically, it's adding a layer between you and the barbell. Basically, what I'm saying is, if I have the stainless steel in one hand and the black zinc in the other hand, the stainless steel will always feel sharper, and it is sharper because it doesn't have the layer on it. And I'm not here to say that the black zinc is not aggressive knurling. I'm just saying it has a coating, so the stainless steel is more aggressive compared to the black zinc, but the black zinc is still very aggressive knurling. As well, an advantage to the stainless steel is that it is stainless steel. It won't really oxidize. But as for the black zinc, the coating will eventually wear over time over as you're training more often, you know, over those years, the black zinc will eventually fade away and eventually expose the steel and it'll start rusting. But that's something that happens gradually over time after years and years. I actually already have a black zinc bar. I've had that for three years. It takes a long time for that black zinc to actually uh, start to fade and start to wear off. But that's just something to keep in mind as a longevity of a barbell. So the Aux barbell is actually a powerlifting competition style barbell. What I mean by that, it is a powerlifting bar. It is a stiff bar. It has a tensile capacity of 205 kpsi. That is a standard of any competition power bar I've ever used. That's just a standard and this barbell absolutely meets that standard. But what actually makes a competition style is the thin collars on the bar. So what this thin collar does is allows for two main things. First is that since it is a smaller collar, you can now fit more plates on the bar. On a more traditional bar, since that collar is wider, the plates are now pushed out more. So now if you think about it, on the competition bar, the edge of the furthest plate will now be closer to the center compared to the wider collar. So now that moment arm, which is force times displacement, is now a lot smaller. So with that said, the bend on the bar is actually gonna be less compared to the equivalent power bar with a wider collar. So basically what I'm saying is there'll be less bar width. So taking slack out of the deadlift, you won't get as much compared to, for example, using fat plates and a fat collar barbell. But if you're using those competition thin plates, like how I have it, and the thin collar, you will have much less bending in the bar. So what's great that it's a competition bar is that as powerlifters, we want to eliminate as many variables as we can. So if we can train like how we compete, that just makes things a lot better. So using comp plates, using a comp bar, once you go to the competition compete, things will be as it is as you were training. Maybe you miss your deadlift because you just can't get in that better position from pulling all slack out. So it's absolutely great to train how you compete. Now moving into the design of the bar. On one side, we have the Iron House Fitness logo. And on the opposite end of the bar, we have the Aux Power Bar logo itself. So we'll kind of scan through this bar. What you see is a middle knurling, as well as a powerlifting ring indicators. And as mentioned, this is really, really aggressive knurling. It's the volcano style. And from my experience in powerlifting and having power bars in my past, this 100% meets the knurling standard. I would even say, honestly, this bar is the most aggressive knurling I've ever used. Not in a bad way, but it just... It is, it is sharp, I'm not gonna lie. It is very aggressive. And for the bushings, they are graphite and bronze in color. So when I got this bar, all I did was add a little bit of barbell lubricants within the sleeves, and now the colors spin for days. 
Something that I really like about Iron House is that when I got the shipping notification that the bar is being sent, it actually arrived the next day. And I was pretty mind blown how fast the bar actually arrived to my front door. As well as the packaging of the barbell. The end caps of the package itself, they were actually put in by screws. So removing these screws was super easy and that allowed just unboxing the barbell to be super easy. And I really like that. Now for the quality of the Ox Power Bar. It honestly meets any high-end brand out there. If this was a blank bar, I did not know who it was made by, and somebody went up to me and was like, hey, this is a Rogue's or Lico's new competition stainless steel bar, I would have no issues believing it. So from the quality, the feel, and the performance of this bar is nothing less of a power bar. It absolutely checks every single box of a power bar. I'm very impressed by this barbell. Iron House Fitness did not skip on any steps when bringing this bar to the market. Now let's actually talk about my experience using this bar. On the squat, what I felt on the squat is, of course, the aggressive knurling. It sticks perfectly to your back, no issues at all. The bar just feels solid. Coming out of the hole, I don't have that movement kind of locking out, right? Everything from my body to the bar just feels nice and solid. And there's no excessive movement. It just feels really good. And as for the bench press, it just meets the powerlifting bar standard. The ring indicator is exactly where they need to be, and I can set up my bench press perfectly every single time. Now for the deadlift, as I was kind of mentioning before with the thinner collars, so when I first got this bar, it actually took a few training sessions for me personally to adjust to this bar. As I was saying before that taking the slack of the bar, you just can't do it as much. So it just felt a little bit harder off the ground, especially pulling sumo. But the knurling though, I can't get over how aggressive it is. It is so aggressive. You will not drop this bar. It just sticks right to your hands and it won't let go. If, so if I were to make a general statement about this bar, what would I say? It is a really good power bar. Iron House Fitness did a great job bringing this bar to the Canadian market. There are other like European American bars, but having a Canadian bar that meets competition spec, that sets the bar high for all other Canadian bars, I am very, very impressed by this bar. So now having stainless steel bar, I cannot go back to any other coated bar. That bare stainless steel, just that raw knurling to your hands, you cannot beat it. And especially that stainless steel will be the longest lasting finish of any other bar. Hands down, I will not go to any other barbell. Even though Iron House did send me this barbell, I'm still gonna say a non-biased opinion about this bar. I highly recommend this bar. It is a good barbell. So if you're looking for a barbell that's high quality, that meets powerlifting spec, this barbell might be for you. And I'm genuinely saying this from the heart of someone who has been powerlifting for years, have tried many barbells, this is a good barbell. It absolutely is. So hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you guys are thinking about buying this bar, I hope this answers a lot of questions for you guys. I will continue using this bar and I will likely recommend this bar to any of my friends that are looking for a power bar. It is just a good, solid bar. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.